Well, it's good to have you here, folks. Third night of fiddle camp. Are you starting to feel nostalgic already? You know, Thursday night's not that far off. Let me remind you of a couple of really important things. Thursday morning, remember, we finish breakfast, and then this hall, instead of a gathering place for talking or whatever, becomes a rehearsal hall. So, and I take over and we get, I'll have a whole list of all the classes and the instructors and when you're expected to be here. And that time's approximate depending on how things work. So we expect a little flexibility from you, but I try to get you up here and running through your paces. So what I, the whole intent of that, just so you understand, this is howling a little boys. Um, the whole intent of that is to make sure that you have a fun, relaxed evening playing with your group and being watched by an entire crowd of people. My organization helps you relax. That's the whole point, okay? So forgive me if I get stern about making things happen a certain way, but it has a purpose to it. It's not just so I can yell at you or something. I don't yell, actually, so it's all good. Um, so I want to remind you of several things. Thumb drives. You can still get back there and talk to Trent and get one, but it, the time is ticking down here. So if you want him to make one for you, you need to make those arrangements. Um, Tyler's bow, we'll be setting up the raffle for that. Uh, remember, what's that? The raffle is on. The raffle is on, okay. <laughs> Go over and see Terry if you want to get in on that. Remember, just to remind you, in case you weren't here last night, Tyler has donated a bow with approximate retail value of three grand. And you can buy tickets, one for 10 bucks or three for 25. You can buy as many of those as you want. And all that money goes to Fiddle Camp, every dime of it, so uh, to support your camp. Marcus is in camp here to help with Luthery needs. Uh, if you need anything done to your instrument, that's... Uh, Fairly, he's got tools with him and a bench and the whole thing to go, and he can help you get your instrument fixed up if it needs anything. Uh, pictures. We're going to do pictures differently this year, and we think better. Uh, we'll, so we'll see. Uh, what we're going to do is instead of having everybody come to this mass confusion out here by the, uh, by the platform, what we're actually going to do is uh, Cole is going to come around with his camera to your group tomorrow morning. So once group classes start, Cole will be going from group to group to take your group photo. Uh, they'll interrupt your class for about three or four or five minutes so you guys can all get together and have a nice picture. It guarantees a couple of things. That way we figure we'll catch everybody who's in your group. Once in a while, we people don't make it over for the photo. So this way, we're pretty sure we'll catch all of your group and it's not going to be this cluster mess out here until he's all done with that. And then somewhere probably after cookie break, the next thing we'll do first is go down and take the big mass photo so you've got everybody in one picture. But we'll only, that'll only take 10 minutes instead of half an hour. So, okay? Or, or more, yes. I appreciate everybody, you're starting to bring chairs in with you when you come. It looks like we got everybody seated this evening, but there are probably still a few white chairs out and about, and we can send runners to get those if we need more this evening. Ah, uh, oh, really important. Because of the number of people we have in camp, which is a record this year, by the way, about 121 students, uh, Jeannie has made an executive decision to move breakfast time 7.30 to 8.30, and that's it. So if you want to eat breakfast, sometime between 7.30 and 8.30, please show up. That's a little change in the schedule, but that'll help them get breakfast done and cleaned out and start prepping your lunch. <laughs> so it comes out to your advantage to go a little earlier and get it over with. All right? Any other announcements needed or issues or concerns or? Nope. All right, that's good. I like that. I'm going to put this down and call out my band. We're going to, we put a little band together. We're going to play one of the tunes off my old album that we got done back in 2000 something. 13, 14, right in there somewhere. It's been out a while now. And we're going to do a little fiddle tune for you, one called the Lazy Fiddler Quick Step.
I'm happy to say I got the entire sibling pack from the Buckley group here. I got all three of them in one place tonight. I'm pretty happy with that. I got Mark Leslie on the banjo. Yes. I got Katrina Nikolaev. Yeah. Playing fiddle along with Taylor. Here they come right now. Dad will hold that for you. Your dad will hold on to that. He's a pretty good. Uh, let's put the fiddlers in the middle, and you got a micro, and you got a microphone, on, and I got a microphone. Where's Katrina? We lost Katrina. There she is, right there. <laughs> Well, we hope you enjoy this one. Yeah. Let me do the. I was in, I was in mom mode. I'm going to do the poem. I'm going to do the poem. So there are lyrics to this, but they don't. It's hard to say them fast. So here's the poem. Get up, my darling Caroline. Go down to the river wide. Catch me a catfish big as your arm, and we'll cook him when he's fried. Dig little taters round and new. Shell some fresh green peas. Cook them up in good sweet cream. I'm an easy man to please. And what will you do, she says to me, while I'm a-working hard? Well, I'll play my fiddle in the shady spot on the north side of the yard. <laughs> oh, the fur it flew and my fiddle, too. I was running for my life. You never saw such ire. She is spitting fire, my modern country wife. <laughs>
you all so very much. What a crew. Man, does that feel good. All right. Be right back with our first act. Are you up first? Yeah. Oh, lovely. Well, I don't need my sheet to talk about you. <laughs> I'm thrilled to have this young lady here. Anytime she's here, the place is just better off, in my opinion. Natalie is the daughter of some awfully fine musicians, and she has a sister who's an awfully fine musician, so the roots run deep in this family. And uh, she has grown over the years from very young and very talented to mature and extremely experienced <laughs> and talented. And so uh, I hope she's ready to come out now that I've built this, this big head of uh, information. There she comes. So Mel, welcome to the stage with whoever she has uh, gathered together to play with her, Natalie Padilla. Come on up, Natalie. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh man, always so wonderful to be here. Um, I'm going to start off with something uh, fairly unusual for me, but I really like singing this song. I think it's very charming and fitting for uh, this week of some rainy weather. Oh yeah. Would you like to chart closer? No, I'm good. Okay. I don't really need it. Okay. This is an old uh, jazz standard called Pennies from Heaven. I'm going to take it off. I want a two, I want two, three. <laughs>
John Reichman. <laughs> Um, ah, that was great. Um, I'm going to get my good friend Tyler Andel to come up here. If he's back there. We're going to do a couple Irish tunes. Uh, they're titled Martin Wins Number One and Number Two. There is a number three, but we'll just play the first two for you tonight. And. Uh, <laughs> I'm hearing this one for the first time, too. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's not true. I taught the second tune to you, like, oh. eight years ago on Skype. That's the first one, right? No. Uh, That's the first one. First one. And then. Okay. Yeah. That's how they start. <laughs> Thank you. 
people, including uh, Taylor and Isaac and John Reichman again, if they're around. Uh, thank you guys for playing with me tonight. This is loads and heaps of fun, as is camp. Is everyone having a good time at camp? Yeah? yeah? That was not very enthusiastic. Is everyone having a good time at camp? Isaac just asked me, is that in drop D? It's like, oh, that's a good point. That's a guitar <laughs> tune. Okay. Uh, I meant the guitar, not the tune. I know the tune's not. <laughs> All right, here's a Danny Barnes song. Does anyone know who Danny Barnes is out there? Good, that's good to hear. Uh, here's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a country song he wrote called Broken Clock. Thank you. 
never ballroom angel from the dark side of a world that's come undone she had better friends than I that knew just what to say though I did couple original tunes that I wrote. He's not here this week, but Doug Ezel is a uh, wonderful human and supporter of this camp. And one of the ways he supports the camp is by buying tunes in our auction. And he's bought a lot of tunes of mine. And this is the one he bought last year uh, for his fifth grandkid named Charles. So the tune is called Charles V. And then we're going to go into one I wrote called Light the Fire. And we got Isaac Callender playing fiddle and uh, guitar. Uh, did you, you played bass as well. Isaac Callender, give him a hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You don't need the chords. <laughs> I don't need the chords either. We'll put them back here. Or, uh, yeah, sure. Here. Sure. Over there. Over there. All right. You'll find out who he is. Um, of course, we got Taylor Buckley on, on bass and fiddle and guitar and all the things. Give him a huge hand. And um, of course, it's an incredible honor to even be in the same room as John Reich and let alone be on stage with him. Give him a big hand. <laughs>
you. Um, I guess that's a decent time to talk about a couple albums. That one was on my first album. It's back there. It's got my face on it. And then Tyler and I and another friend called Casey, uh, called, named Casey, so sorry. <laughs> uh, Casey Campbell recorded a little old time album in March. We got around a few microphones in Tyler's living room in Nashville and recorded 20 tracks. And the CDs, I think, are shipping on their way to Montana right now. <laughs> um, and the first tune, uh, Charles V, is going to be, it is on that. So hopefully they'll be here by the end of this week, maybe next week some point. Um, so keep an eye out for that. And what, what do we have? Thank you. Oh, we're going to have Greg Blake come up on this one. Um, <laughs> yes, give Greg a hand. Uh, this is a song I wrote. It's it's another slower one, but I'm, I'm playing a lot on Tyler's set, which is why I'm keeping the fiddle and the, the number of tunes to a minimum right now. Uh, this one's called Thank You for the Good Time. I wrote it uh, the day after I had a, a, a rockin' birthday party at my house. Was anyone there? I know some of you. I know, I know, some of you people were there. And uh, there were some good, good vibes floating around the house the next day, and so this, this song came out.
Thank you. And, um, and thank you truly for you all who are here. It takes every one of you to make the camp an amazing, the, the amazing, incredible thing it is. Um, but especially thanks to the, the Buckleys for putting on this camp for 27 years? 26 years. It's incredible. Um, and of course, all the volunteers um, in the kitchen. And there's, it's just a lot of work that goes and a lot of love that goes into this camp. And I love being a part of it. Uh, I think we're going to do one little old time tune. I need to go get a fiddle that's already cross tuned. So, uh, one moment. Feel free to tell a joke or something. But we're going to do Hunting the Buffalo. <laughs> Cross-tuned fiddle. Uh, thanks, Reed, for the fiddle borrow. Uh, John Tyler and I had a, a big time playing some tunes last night, and this was one of them. So we thought I'd play one for you. I want you guys to all know that uh, she is not far from her old-time roots. She is the Kentucky State Fiddle Champion. <laughs> She got a big bowl, a big, um... It was ridiculous. Yeah, she got a big, <laughs> it has writing all over, it's great. Yeah, okay, let's play the tune. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you very much. What do you think of that, huh? Yeah? She makes her mom and daddy proud, don't doubt about it. I'm glad she's here with us every time she's here. So once in a while, she's off doing something around the country, elsewhere. We try not to let her stray too far from home, but we like having her exposed out there broader, too. But one of her buddies, who was up here playing with her, has become a camp favorite over the years. You know, you, you meet some of these folks, the new ones, and some of them come and go, and they do a good job, but... Uh, you know, there's just a certain feel about some of them that you want to see them again, and you want to work with them again, you want to hear them do one of these night shows again. <laughs> and uh, the next young fella, he uh, has been up here many times. How many times, Fred? You think Tyler Buck, how long has Tyler been here? Twelve years, something like that. He was a much younger man when he started coming up here, let's put it that way. But... Uh, he and uh, his fiance, who came here and made bows last year, uh, she went made a bow from scratch down here in the cabin last year. It was a fun process to watch over two weeks. Then she donated it to camp in the end, and uh, it brought some money and helped the camp, and it was a lot of fun to watch Sarah do that. They're getting married this summer, and we're proud of them for that. We're happy to hear it. So make welcome back to the stage, this time in the lead role. Tyler Andall. Come on, Tyler. Where's Caitlin? Oh, hi. Oh, oh you're right there. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my twin? Oh, hi. Thank you. Wherever. This is my favorite. This is my favorite just to get all these guys up here, girls up here. Play these tunes with me. Uh, first off, um, time Tyler. Uh, this this really is one of my favorite things to get Jeannie and Caitlin up here. They, they work so hard all through the week, and and one of my favorite things to do is to try to get them up here and play some tunes with me because they're really great, all of them. You guys have heard Maddie, and you guys have heard Natalie. You, go, you know they're how great they are, but these two, they're always hiding. So it's time. <laughs> what are you playing? Uh, the, oh, right. So this one's called um, First Day in Town. It's in G minor, and it goes to F, a lot like Patty and the Turnpike. And a quick B. And a quick B at the end. And uh, this is by Kenny Baker called First Day in Town. It's one of my favorite tunes of his, and uh, it's great. It just drives. And this is the perfect group to do this with. <laughs> you want a solo? You don't have. You don't have to. Let's play it and I'll let you know. Okay. It's, it's 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 three parts if you happen to want one. One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you. 
I've even forgotten who's playing on all these with me, and it's it's really exciting, actually. Like Natalie mentioned just a second ago, just even having John in the same room is like one of the coolest things ever. And <laughs> and we really did last night. We just went over and played some tunes with John in his cab, and, and Natalie and I were like, I think that's the first time we've just sat down and got to play some old time tunes with John, and it's really cool. This this guy check ev everything out that he's ever done. Writes the best melodies, plays the best mandolin, literally plays the best mandolin as well. Yeah. <laughs> best player for the best instrument. That's right. <laughs> um, so I'm just kind of picking some random old time tunes. This one's called Tennessee Breakdown, because that's where I'm from. <laughs> Whatever Natalie says is... <laughs> we'll just fall in. Yep. <laughs> you guys are too far away. I don't like that. Alright. <laughs> 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 right, right exactly. <laughs> switch instruments now and uh, grab uh, the banjo, I think. I play the banjo. Yeah, oh yeah. Does anyone want to play guitar? Does anyone want to play guitar? Taylor can play. Um, let me grab the banjo real quick. I'll be right back. Who's the guitar suggestion? It's more of an idea.
going with the uh, old time stuff. Let me run away one more time here. So as Natalie was saying, uh, she came to town a couple months ago, and we were working on a really, really cool old time fiddle album. The best part was, I was like, Natalie, you play all the fiddle. And uh, I almost got away with it. <laughs> and then I fed him some bourbon and things changed. <laughs> you go ahead. So I was talking to my, my class this morning. They said, let's learn a waltz. And I said, I don't know slow tunes. <laughs> and I said, I do know one waltz. We just recorded it. Um, this one's called Jack of Diamonds or Drunkard's Hiccups or or I need to keep tuning. How many of you guys have gotten to experiment with the calico tuning so far this week? Nobody? No? Nope. Chirps. Chirps, all right. <laughs> Chirps, have you ever played on a five string? this one way down. Super fun. Floppy. Super floppy. It's right. <laughs> I'm not sure we played this since we recorded it. We have not. <laughs> this will be exciting. Since I'm writing this tuning, I know I've played this tune here a few times, but 
it's easier just to stay in this tuning for a couple tunes. And it's one of my favorites. This is my set list, sorry. I'm not, I'm not checking the text. <laughs> Also have not played this one, but Natalie is um, also kind of the queen of crooked tunes. So this is my this is my this is my this is my chance to throw one at her every now and then. I learned it here in this room. Yeah, actually, many years ago. Yeah. I also met. I have to say, I met Tyler eight years ago at this camp. He's getting married. Um, I didn't make I didn't make the groom's gal list, but um, he's one of my best friends, and I love him dearly. He should and be there. I will be at the wedding. But he, he's not going to let me give a little speech. So that was my mini speech. We love you, Tyler. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just unplug the mic on her yeah. if she starts going. <laughs> Couple, three, three more here. Let me get this back. Um, so, I got a little story for this one. Give me one sec, though. So, um, the last 10 years or so, I've had the, the honor to get to play some fiddle tunes for Roland White. I don't know if anyone knows who that is, maybe. Yes, sir. He's, he's kind of the man. He's one of the, like, one of my original mandolin guys of bluegrass music that I knew of and got to hang around. And uh, I got to play with him the last 10 years or so. And unfortunately, we lost him a couple weeks ago, and, uh, or about a month or two ago, I'd, I'd say. I think he probably affected uh, influenced probably all of us in this room one way or another without, you know, even if we're not directly playing with him and everything, but he, his music was so great and he was kind of a, such a welcoming heart and everyone that moved to Nashville, everyone that was at his uh, celebration of life was like, my first friend in Nashville is Roland, my first friend is, is Na uh, Nashville is Roland. But, uh, so uh, we did a celebration of life for him a couple weeks ago and my friend Brian that I work with, Brian Christensen, that uh, does violin work at the violin shop, wrote a tune called Chocolate for Chi-Chi. And uh, for, for those of you that don't know, Lester Flatt's nickname for Roland was Chi-Chi. 
And uh, so he was always in my phone as Chi Chi LeBlanc, because his last name was actually LeBlanc. So I'd be get a call from Chi Chi LeBlanc coming in. <laughs> but the, the story to this is uh, the last couple of years, he was kind of having a little rough. And I think during COVID, um, at one point, he fell and broke his right wrist. And we'd go and visit him and stuff. Uh, I didn't go this time, but Brian went and uh, they stopped to buy him some treats on the way. In East Nashville, I guess there's like a kind of like a, um, a nice little chocolate shop. So they bought some things and went over to his place. And of course, he broke his right hand. So Brian was giving him, uh, I think, a chocolate covered marshmallow. And uh, he was kind of opening it and having, having a lot of trouble because his arm was broken. And finally, he couldn't get it. And he goes over to Diane and asks her to, to open it. Diane is his wife. And asks her to open it. She unwrapped it for him. He gets it back in his hand. And Brian said he was like, just like a vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> and it was gone. <laughs> like, and, and you got to imagine, Roland's this little old, he, he's a little old guy, just kind of like walking around like this. And... <laughs> but I saw him go after some cookies. I seen him go after some chocolates. So this is, it was really kind of sweet of Brian to write a tune called Chocolate for Chi Chi. And uh, we played it at his uh, Celebration of Life thing a few weeks ago. And the, the coolest compliment came from Ricky Skaggs. He's like, he's like, Brian, I'm not Brian, of course. He's like, Brian. Those are some stanky chords. <laughs> so, we've got a, a, a tune with some stanky chords in it for y'all. <laughs> Thank you. 
right, I think I got a, two more here. I'm going to ask Bill McKay to come up and play a tune with me. Um, we're going to do a couple guitars. My, my uncle's actually hanging out with me tonight. He's, he's back there, way back there. But um, this is a tune that, uh, that my grandma always used to play with us. You know, you, know, you always have, you know, have these stories how you get into playing the tunes that you do. My grandma's a church pianist, of course, uh, uh, and hymns. And, you know, it's, it's funny. Every now and then she'd pull out a, a tune like this. This is the old spinning wheel, which I don't think they played in church. But Probably not. But you know, but this was my connection to this this type of music from my grandma without even knowing it. You know, I probably thought this was a, a hymn or something well, at one point. And the lyrics on this are about being connected to your grandma through her old spinning wheel. So that's uh, fitting. So if my Uncle Dennis can hear out there, this is the old spinning wheel from Grandma. Okay, I, I might. Uh, this is fun. This is a, a tune I was kind of 
Not sure if I wanted to do or not. It's going to be really fun, though, I think. I was have Tyler and uh, Taylor. Mine, I'm, wow. <laughs> I just confused you for me. Hi, Taylor. I'm Taylor. Taylor. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I was having Taylor and Isaac uh, duke it out to who, who had to play a guitar solo. So if you hold a guitar, I can't, I can't promise you you won't get a solo. <laughs> 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 um, but this is a... They don't make eye contact. This is a fun uh, bluegrass tune. It's called El Comentero. It's kind of a got a Mexican vibe to it, and you know I want to dedicate it to our newest friend. Oh, where did he go? Stay right there. Oh, right there, Jorge. <laughs> He's uh man. Hasn't his cooking been great all this week too? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so by the end of by the end of next week, you got to play this on the banjo. It's, it's, <laughs> This is, this is, this is, uh, uh, Natalie's got to teach this to you, claw hammer style. So, uh, here we go. We're going to just have a big jam on this one. Intro? Yep. Let me make sure. Thank you. 
Oh. Well, no mystery why he's a camp favorite, really, over the years. And we hope he keeps coming back as long as he wants to. Next time, bring Sarah with you. So she's a delight, too. But we're going to give the folks here a little chance to move around. We have a wonderful collective band back here that keeps coming out in different variations. It's really fun to watch. It's too bad all of them can only play one instrument. <laughs> <laughs> How about a hand for Isaac Callender, who's kind of the all-purpose guy back here. And Taylor Buckley, too, doing a great job. You got a band like that, you, you can just about do anything you want, pretty much. Yeah, take a little stretch. And I think by now everybody knows the drill, but when we're done here, we clear the chairs, sweep the floor, and dance till everybody drops off to sleep somewhere. So I've heard of sleep. I think it's something we do. <laughs> I'm looking here at Carol, and I know there's others in the room. How about a big hand for the kitchen staff who's been helping out? And... Carol also comes around and does all the cleanup after the, you know, she checks the trash cans and all that stuff. She's just, she's a champ. She really is. And there are other people just like her helping out around here. We couldn't do this camp without that support. And these guys don't come around begging for praise. They just hang in there and get it done. But we want to give them some praise anyway. Nice job. Thank you, Carol, and all the rest of the staff that's helping out. All right, well, we got one more round to go, and this is a good one here, folks. So have a seat, and let's, let me do a little introduction. He doesn't need a lot of introduction because he's become another camp favorite. Uh, the interesting thing is, you know, we started with some of these people when they were kids, and they've sort of built their reputation over the years uh, other places, but here at camp, too. Yeah, <laughs> this this young man was uh, already well known in this field long before we got a hold of him and asked him to come to this camp and managed to make it happen. I give Fred and Jeannie and whoever else a lot of credit for being able to reach out and connect with a guy like this. I, I'm not going to read you John's Vita, but it's you should go read it online. <laughs> Trust me, this ain't his first rodeo. And uh, he knows how to play that thing in his hands. I'm not going to make too big a deal of this, but there are a few of those mandolins around in the world, and a lot of them are sitting in vaults and stuff like that. Some people deserve to have one and play it. This is one of the guys that deserves one of those particular mandolins. You'll see why in a minute. Make welcome Mr. John Reichman, please. Howdy, folks. I was going to start with a fast one, but I changed my mind. <laughs> I'll, I'll play you this uh, tune of mine I wrote about 20 years ago, uh, walking down the street in Seattle on Greenwood Street, so I named it Greenwood. I wasn't walking and playing the mandolin, I just heard the tune, so, <laughs> and it came out like this.
Thank you. Um, I'm going to ask Tyler and Natalie to come and play a, a, a few tunes with me. And um, I have a brand new CD, or it's maybe it's almost a year old. But I had I had a good thing to do during the pandemic when you know you couldn't go out and play for music. And I mean this this is so great to be able to play for folks again. It's uh, I like playing for my cat and dog, but <laughs> but uh, this is much better. So. Um, but I, I was able to put this recording together. I actually started it before um, the pandemic started and, um, and got a few tunes in the can and then just, just uh, continued on, you know, doing some stuff remotely and then had a few sessions with, with humans again. So it came out and it's called New Time and Old Acoustic. And that's a, a title that the meaning is... Uh, kind of refers to some of the tunes I write, sound sort of like old time tunes, but they have too many chords to really be old time tunes. So I call them new, new time tunes. So that's some of the music on there. And then there's also uh, some, some tunes that are kind of reminiscent of the music I used to play back when I played with Tony Rice and, and some other folks. And they used to refer to that as new acoustic music. But that was 40 years ago, so. <laughs> Now it's old acoustic, so new time old acoustic. And that's my story. And, uh, and uh, we're going to play this. Uh, it's mostly originals, but I covered a couple tunes, and this is an old time tune called Happy Hollow. And I'm going to try and play it on another mandolin that's in a cross tuning. Thanks to Chad for loaning me his Gilchrist mandolin. say the name of that one? Happy Hollow. I really like that tune. I, don't, I, I think it comes from an old-time fiddler named Marcus Martin. And uh, that tune and this next medley we're going to do uh, on guitar on the recording features Quinn Bashan, who's going to be here next week. So tell him I said hi. So um, a few years back, I had the good fortune of uh, getting to go on tour with Greg Blake. Have you heard of him? <laughs> He's a great 
bluegrass guitar player. And uh, it, he put together a really wonderful band. Blaine Sprouse played fiddle and Sally Van Meter played dobro and we toured all over Ireland. And um, it's very inspiring to me. And, and while I was there, tunes came to me in a similar fashion to that when I opened with, you know, I, I was walking down the streets and a tune would occur to me. And, and these tunes I, that I, were coming to me in Ireland, I kept thinking I must have stole them from a session somewhere, but so far, no one said, oh yeah, it's just like that one. But So I we'll, uh, have a, a medley of two tunes. The first one is called Ballyhooley, which is a town uh, in Cork where we were kind of based. And then the second one is Uncle John Nyan. And John Nyan is the guy who uh, booked the tour. And uh, if you understand 50% of what he says, you're lucky. <laughs> but he's a wonderful guy and he put together a great tour. Okay with you if it's even lower? Yes. Since it's my show. <laughs> Is it raining? Sure oh, good. Is. Yeah, it's perfect. One, two.
Thank you. I'm wearing my pick out. Um, we're going to do another tune and, and get um, Taylor Buckley and Caitlin Buckley and and then there's some fiddlers. Let's, here's one of them. And this is too, this tune is uh, it's another new tune. It's on the on the recording. It's called uh, the Coyote Trail. And where I live in in uh, just east of Vancouver, BC, there's a lot of green spaces. And even in the city parks, you see a lot of coyotes. You say you probably say coyotes in Montana. No, coyote. Coyotes. You know, there's a recording of Bill Monroe where he sings Goodbye Old Pal, you know that song, Blue Grass Standard, and he sings about, there's a line about, and the coyotes howl, but he sings Caidos. <laughs> yes, that's a little known piece of bluegrass trivia for you. <laughs> and uh, let's get back to the musical portion of the show. <laughs> Is that too low? Um, oh yeah. Fiddles. So. The A and B there. Yeah, the A and B. One, two, ready? Uh, one, two, uh, one, sorry. two, one. Sorry, I'll stop counting. One, <laughs> two, three. Oh. One, two, three. <laughs>
going to play another tune that um, this is another one that came to me when I was on that tour with Greg Blake in Ireland. And, oh, now he's going to want royalties on him, I think. I got it on recording. Yeah. And uh, this one came to me there, and I named it for Suzanne McGeehee, who I met here at camp, and uh, her mom bid on me writing a tune in the auction. So like, this could happen to you, too. <laughs> It's called Suzanne's Journey. Let's start together over here in this one. So we're...
Thank you. Thanks to Caitlin and Kayla and Natalie. And uh, got a couple more tunes. And this next one is one I wrote for my dog, whose name is Roscoe. And uh, everybody in my family gets a, a tune name for him. And he was waiting for his tune. And I, and I, I came up with this one. It's called Roscoe's Ramble. And uh, when I made it up, I thought, I, I want to write a tune that sounds like, the, like it would sound good on a bluegrass banjo. And we happen to have a good bluegrass banjo player here. Well, more than one, but Greg Cahill is going to play banjo on this, and Greg Blake is going to play guitar. And John Parker, if he's uh, here, I hope he's here. Oh, yeah, there he is. Actually, John, uh, we played at his, his place, and uh, I gave him the CD, and he sent me a nice email telling me how much he liked this tune. So thanks to John Parker and Greg and... Um, Yes, this young sprout. <laughs> sprout. <laughs> I sprout. <laughs> I'm trying to remember it. Actually, it's the first time I played this with real live humans. <laughs> So it's about a dog, but it's not dog music.
thank you all for such a great audience. It's so great being back here, and uh, I've got a great class. Every year I have a great class, but we're having a lot of fun with those guys. And I want to thank everybody who helps make this camp happen. Everybody named Taylor, and everyone who isn't named Taylor. So thank you. <laughs> One more, and this is a traditional tune, but it's it's sort of the um, in, uh, version that Bill Monroe played. Uh, Dusty Miller, I think the Texas fiddlers play it, but um, Bill Monroe played it, and he played it fast and lonesome. If that's possible to do. I don't know. That's right. So thank you again, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks to all the musicians here, Greg Blake. Tyler Randall, John Parker, Greg Cahill, Natalie Capilla. Yeah. Oh yeah, come in on the second line. Do it, Greg does. Oh yeah. This Greg. That's exactly what I did.
I didn't plan for this, but uh, we'll do. I think someone played this at some point down in the Willow Garden. It's a, it's a murder ballad with terrible words, so we're going to do it as an instrumental. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much.
That was my special request at the end, by the way. I wanted to hear what John play that beautiful lore and uh, make it sound like it's possible to sound. Well, thank you for seeing such a great audience. Now be a bunch of great dancers. Let's clear the floor. Those of you that want to play in the band, come join us.